Hi, I'm Memming. And I'm Eben. Welcome to... Brain is not a computer. Today we'll be asking a question you probably don't hear every day. Is the strawberry red? Well, duh. All strawberries are red. But not this one. In fact, there is not a single red pixel in this image. But then how does it appear red? This is a phenomenon called... Color constancy. Color constancy is when certain parts of the scene are perceived to be the same color even after the hues of the entire image are changed. Hmm, could it have happened just because I was expecting the strawberry to be red? It is possible that this plays a part, but it's not the entire story. Look at this image. What color do you think these posters are? They look red to me. Aha, uh -huh, but they are not. There are no red pixels in this image either. How can this be? Am I just imagining the color red in everything I see? Not quite. This phenomenon is ubiquitous amongst humans, but it is also something which separates us from computers. When the sensor in a camera creates an image, it only uses the light presented to it. If there is no red light, there will be no red in the image. And if a computer were to process each pixel in this image, it would not notice any red in the image. Similar to a camera, when your retina is exposed to light, it encodes the intensity of each primary color. However, it also encodes the relative differences between colors. In this animation, we changed the ratio of yellow to blue while keeping the brightness and the ratio of red to green constant. Because your retina is taking into account the differences between color, the strawberries look red throughout the animation, even though none of the pixels are actually red. When color information is passed from the eyes to the brain, certain regions will respond to changes in both lighting and color. However, scientists have also found that some parts of the brain compensate for changes in lighting. These areas respond to an object of a given color in the same way, regardless of the lighting conditions. Thus, our perception of color in the world is neither pigment by itself nor lighting by itself, but a combination of the two, allowing us to tell that our surroundings are the same regardless of the light cast upon them. So the brain is like a computer, but very different.